Hello, fellow tappers. It's Loa for here, and today I am coming back for the Act Two Premium of the Christmas 2021 20, Holiday Who Done It update. So here we go. We're going to be unlocking the Heartmark Channel, and I can't remember her name. Is it like Rose Tannenbaum? I'm not sure. I may be wrong. Goodness me, I should know. Do apologise. But, nonetheless, it does look very cool. An exciting char character from what I've seen from the dialogue so far. So here we go. Let's unlock it. Fantastic. Before we start this video, I want to basically say a massive, massive uh, thank you to you all. And uh, obviously, today is a 32nd anniversary since since The Simpsons first aired in 1989. So I just wanted to say a massive thank you to all, to you all reflecting on my channel, and basically how amazing you've all been, and how, how far the channel has came, to be honest. And I really, really couldn't have got here without all your support and all your kindness. It's been amazing. Thank you ever so much. So, let's get into the walkthrough. And... Let's place Hello. it. It's, just not it's Mary. Mary Tannenbaum. Here. I'm looking for love. And a fast-paced 90-page rom-con script that doesn't need to make total sense. Mary Tannenbaum. There we go. So another character in the Holiday Who Done It set. Lovely. There we go. So, it's a very nice-looking building. So we've got Heartmuck Channel, TV movies from the heart. And we've got a little satellite dish. We've got some posters. Can't exactly see what those are. Um, it's the something detective, detective club. Uh, yeah, but they do look very cool. The posters though, as well. The different TV movies. Fantastic. And whoa, her uh, her face, the icon in the top left, is coming out of the box. That's very. That's quite funny. There we go. Oh, it doesn't have a voice. Oh well. Mary does it again. Another Friday night with no plans. Ah. Oh. I guess I'll just watch ten things I hate about you for the ten zillionth time. Great. One of my fa one of my Heartmark mystery movies is playing on the hotel TV. Actually, romancing the scone, the confectioner's confession, isn't the worst. But you're just a baker turned amateur sleuth. How could you possibly know that the killer was left handed? Simple. Oh, that's Tabitha Vix. It's simple. Chef Pierre doesn't spiral his cinnamon rolls clockwise. He spirals them counterclockwise. <laughs> counterclockwise. I still can't believe we got Tabitha Vix to agree to do this. Chef Pierre was the killer all along. Arrest him. Zut alors. <laughs> French French waiter. I spit on your perfectly ri risen souffle of detective work. Don't worry, Chef Pierre. I'm sure you'll bake all the pastries you want from the prison kitchen. Not if I escape. Oh no, I totally forgot that I was supposed to write and direct a sequel to this. <laughs> and the script is due tomorrow? It's okay, Mary. You got this. All you have to do is write an entire Heartmark movie in one night. Fly back to the big city in the morning and turn it in. Blimey. When Mary Met Flandy. Part 1. Make Mary Tannenbaum write Romancing Scone 2. Okay, so... Oh, but she's not going to the... To the uh, place yet, but she's in the Crestyland Hotel. Lovely. And there she is, she does a little pose. The end. Romancing the Scone 2. The Fondant Fugitive is 95 pages of formulaic fun. Ooh, and my Uber to the airport just arrived. Well, I guess this is goodbye, Springfield. I didn't find love here, but at least I didn't lose my highly lucrative job searching for it. Hopefully next year I'll finally get my Christmas wish. Ah. Oh. I can't believe I have to head back to the big city. I never even saw the spring, the Squidport, the Springfield Gorge. Well, we could stop at the Gorge, 
<laughs> it is on the way. <laughs> Ned is the driver. <gasps> what the? Oh my god. I completely forgot that I'm in an Uber to the airport. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. No, I'm the one who should be apologising. My brain's running on fumes this morning. I had to write an entire script last night and there wasn't any coffee at the hotel. Only powdered hot chocolate and horchata flavoured Mountain Dew. Well, I can fix you a, up a cup of joe. <laughs> you have an expression machine in your car? That's amazing. What kind of milk do you take? Let me guess, oat? That is what I take. You might be the best Uber driver I've ever had. Oh, I'm not really an Uber driver. I just do it on Saturdays to raise money for the victims of whatever the most recent natural disaster is. Today I'm raising money for for the victims of the super tornado in Maine and the mega blizzard in San Diego. That pesky climate strikes again. I'm Mary, by the way. I know, your name is on the app Mary T. My name's Ned. Ned Flanders. Ned, I like that. Well, here we are. The Springfield Gorge. Ain't it pretty? I had to meet the perfect man, right as I'm about to leave. What was that? Oh, just that you're right. It sure is pretty. Make Mary Tannenbaum take a picture of the Springfield Gorge and make Flanders drive Mary Tannenbaum to the airport. Okay, so taking a picture of the Springfield Gorge. <laughs> Flanders is going to drive her to the no. airport. <laughs> Ned Flanders. So Ned went to the garbage truck and Mary went to the mountains because I don't have the Springfield Gorge on this map. Uh, account, sorry, town. Well, here we are, Mary T. The Air Big City Terminal at Springfield Airport. Well, I guess this is goodbye. Thanks for the espresso. If I ever come back to Springfield, I'm buying you a coffee. It's a deal. Safe travels. I sure like that, Mary T. Oh no, she left her laptop on the back seat. Wait, your laptop? Mary? Well, I guess the only thing to do is to buy a plane ticket, go through security, and give her back her laptop myself. Blimey, well, he seems to have forgotten about his kids. <laughs> well, I don't see her at the gate. Maybe she's already on the plane. I guess I can get on, drop off the laptop, and get off before it takes off. Mary, you forgot your laptop. Ned? Oh my gosh. My whole life was on there. Let alone the only copy of my script. Romancing the scone too. A fondant fugitive. You just saved everything, Ned. Folks, this is your captain speaking. We have now closed, closed the doors to the aircraft. Please fasten your seatbelts. Oh no, the plane's taken off. We will be arriving in the big city in a few short hours. On behalf of Big City Airlines, I'd like to say it's an honour transporting you back from the small town you've just visited to the big city you certainly wish you never left. I'm not supposed to be on this plane. I'm small town Flanders, not big city Ned. Don't worry, I'll pay for your ticket back. I'm so sorry, Ned. Do you know what? It's okay. I've never been to the big city before. Maybe it'll be an adventure. Maybe it will. Ooh. Make Mary Tannenbaum punch up her script and make Flanders clap when the plane lands. Punch up her script. You haven't actually seen any animations yet, which uh, is going to be interesting to see what those ones are. She's <laughs> at the orange house. A bit of a random that place to go. Ding -dong diddly -doo for you. Nothing. And clap when the plane lands. <laughs> Burns Manor. My name's Ned Flanders. Well, I guess this is goodbye, Ned. Unless you want to spend some time in the big city with me. Of course. I'd love to show you. I'd love to show me around. I'd love you to show me around. First thing I need to do is book a hotel room. I have accumulated quite a lot of points at the Radisson. If there is one. You could stay at my place. Sorry. Didn't mean to just blurt that out. Really? Your place? That's so nice, Mary. Let me call a sitter for my kids and let her know I'll be back to I'll be back tomorrow. Oh, 
You have children? Yes, with my first wife who passed away a few years back. Oh, Ned, that's so awful. I'm so sorry. And then I remarried and she also tragically passed away. Oh, gosh. Um, sensing a theme here. <laughs> well, I'll be back in a sec. Just going to call the sitter and let her know I'm staying with Mary T. Um, do you know what? I totally... Totally forgot that my apartment is uh, on fire, and no one can uh, stay there. Oh, okay. I'm also super busy and have to go right this second. So thanks for returning my laptop, being a great Uber and being a great Uber driver. See you in Springfield if I ever go back. Oh, blimey. Okay. Um. Bye, Mary. Bye forever. I mean, bye now. <laughs> wow. I guess I'm stuck in the big city on my own. Oh my gosh, everything is so expensive. Eight pound for water, scaffolding everywhere, so many workers on strike. Must find a safe place to hide. Ooh, an M&M store filled with M&Ms. <laughs> well, that is a strange ending. I was uh, expecting uh, Mary and Ned to get it together, but uh, clearly... They uh, didn't quite work out like that. So let's actually see. Um, let's see mm -hmm. the other animations, which we didn't actually see in the questline. But I did really like that questline overall. I think it was great. So give up on our hope, hopes and dreams. This is the first animation. Love and then the heart shatters. Blimey, and she kicks it away. Gosh, that is really sad. And another one. Playing the musical instrument. Tears it apart. Wow. Really, really clever animations. I love that as well. She walks around thinking. That is brilliant. There might be a third one. Sometimes there is with these. But we'll see. That is lovely. Yeah, really, really great character overall. I'd really highly recommend getting this. And uh, another uh, above-average premium character, in my opinion. Well worth getting. I'd say, I don't know whether it was better than Mount Useful, but it was very, very good. So, I think that is all of the different ones for that. We'll just wait once more. No. I don't think that is all of them. And then film a wedding scene. Blimey. Well, there you go. That's film a wedding scene. That's a great, great animation. Look at that, and I love the heart. It's a pretty sad uh, character, actually. But clever. I, I really do like it. That's very nice. Really clever animations on this one. Amazing. And so, let's uh, have a look at the animation for the building. And see if she goes there. So we'll just see if we can try and get her to go there. Clearly not a 12 hour task. Might be the 60 minute one. Pitch a, a gritty reboot. So here we go. So the building seems to light up and the doors open with a plant on the inside, people talking and moving around. That is great. Cranking out more career killers. That is great. So that's the theme tune of the Heartmark channel, I'm assuming. Amazing. Wow. What a great building. I mean, that, that is amazing. We do not hear a sound like that very often at all in the game. Amazing. So there we go. Overall, an amazing character. So that is sadly going to bring me to the end of this video. Before you go, though, I'd love it if you could check out my Patreon page, where you can get early access to my videos for just the equivalent of £1. It would also be amazing if you could check out my Discord server, where there's almost, almost, always so much going on. 
including giveaways, have your town designs featured, and engaging with an awesome community. And it would also be amazing if you could hit the like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. <laughs>